Counties continue to struggle in meeting state mandates to reduce water usage, but few water wasters are actually receiving fines. Our Julie Bueller live in studio with more. Hi, Julie. Hi, Thalia. You know, there are few businesses that fine a customer for using their product too much, but that's what local water agencies are faced with. And while only a few fines have been handed out, officials aren't so sure that that would even help them achieve state mandates. We've almost been set up to fail in this. Some of the numbers we'll have to achieve achieve especially in the winter months are literally impossible for a community like ours. The frustration is felt around the valley as another month passes and local water districts fail yet again to achieve conservation goals set by state mandates. And given that the winter months are coming up when tourists flood our cities at a rate of at times double the population of full-time residents, water district employees are even more concerned that the state mandates are simply unachievable. While certain agencies receive complaints every day, the CVWD averages about 100 complaints of water waste every month. Their business is delivering water, not policing their customers. And while few fines have been handed out, the water agencies have levied millions of dollars in penalties for overuse. And yet, it's still not enough. Five of the Valley's six water districts fell short of the state mandate. When the governor gave the order, the state board was charged to come up with all the rules, and they did it really quick. And they didn't consider a lot of things. So it almost set us up to be almost impossible for a lot of inland communities, especially desert communities, to, to achieve those goals. The state requirements are based on a single year, 2013, as the baseline of water use. But many of the Valley's water districts began conserving years ago as part of Governor Schwarzenegger's plan to reduce water use by 20% by 2020. Desert Hot Springs reduced by 30% since 2006 in Palm Springs. They reduced water since 2007 by 29%. And the CVWD, it's cut 5.1 billion gallons of use in just two years. Yet all have failed to meet state mandates. Well, now the state said, well, now we want more. And we're saying, wait a minute, you didn't look back and consider that you've kind of come in midstream after we've done so much, while many other agencies all over the state didn't do anything since 2010. And so they had fat to trim. We're bone on bone right now. In December, the state will hold a meeting and local agencies will attend to outline the unique conditions in the valley. For example, the sustained heat we experienced this year or the 140,000 tourists that visited Palm Springs just last weekend, all using water at a rate likely above what the average Palm Springs resident would use. They'll be looking to have those mandates adjusted accordingly. Thalia, back to you. All right, Julie, thank you very much.